Hey guys, welcome back to All in a Law. This is Quick Radiology, and today we're gonna talk about what are the causes for gas in the ureter. Ureters are and our pill we calisial pelvic calysis system okay guys gas in the ureters and pelvic calysial systems so remember any cause that can give rise to gas inside the bladder that's a urinary bladder can give rise to gas formation in the ureter or what you call um, any um, pelvic cervical system okay so like we have vesico intestinal fistula so we know vesico intestinal fistula it could be due to either it could be due to some cross disease carcinoma of the colon or it could be carcinoma of the rectum diverticular diseases okay or it could be due to cystitis cystitis especially what you call the which organism is especially responsible for this e coli why e coli because they are gas forming organisms okay and seen especially in the diabetic patients okay and it could be due to following instrumentation if you're doing any instrumentation instrumentation that can give rise to gas inside the bladder then we have what you call penetrating wounds okay penetrating wounds so these can give rise to gas in the bladder and that can gas can give rise goes and get stuck in what you call ureters okay so some other causes can be like what you call ureteric diversion ureteric diversion okay into the colon or a bladder okay and a fistula due to as we said cross disease or perforated duodenal ulcer okay or what you call infection as we discussed it was due to because of what you call uh, uh, especially the E. coli because they are gas forming, right guys? So these are the important causes for what you call gas in the ureter and the pelvic cervical system. They are almost same causes for what we see in the what you call causes for a, in a gas in the, inside the urinary bladder. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. Take care.